Hello, everybody, and good morning. Uh, it's 11 o'clock uh, on April 11th, and it's been a few days since I've done an update, uh, but I wanted to do that today uh, because, as you can see, all of my trades closed out um, with a profit of $181. Now, I've been in these trades since the, the 6th of April, so it's been quite a, a while, uh, quite, a, quite a, while, a long wait. But sometimes that happens, um, and it's all part of my strategy to... Uh, wait for trades to hit profit um, and when my initial orders weren't um, the best positions to begin with. Um, so, you know, I was looking for, this is my first trade, I was looking for 50 pips, it did move up a little bit, but then it fell again. Uh, profit was was in this area, but didn't quite have enough. I was looking for a, um, a total of 50 pips amongst all my orders, didn't quite get it, and then it kept going and falling down. Uh, so the issue here was the news. Now the news didn't go in my favor uh, during this this bracket of time, uh, so it caused me to enter more and more trades. Now you can see that um, not all of my orders have a perfect amount of pip distance from each other. I do expand when the volatility uh, does increase, uh, so my orders will widen uh, based on the volatility of the market. Now um, we did have a nice push here. Um, today uh, on the pound CAD <clears throat> as you can see I, you can see where I took profit here um, but uh, I did know a figure I didn't know for sure that but I did expect this to extend further uh, so I could have left my trades in for a lot lot longer but the idea is to take this set amount of profit which is what I was trying to shoot for was about two hundred dollars um, because of slippage I did only take about 181 um, but my rules are take the set amount, which happens to be $200 at this risk amount, or less, but never more because if I try to take more, it changes the whole system entirely. It changes the, man the money management and it changes all the trades and how the, um, the EA uh, or the expert advisor uh, actually works. Um, so I try not to overextend and try to get greedy with my baskets because you know how it is, guys. If I lose, if I um, a small market movement with this many trades in uh, can fluctuate hundreds of dollars, and that's pretty much what happened. And that's why you see this right here, where I took one pip profit and ended up being $181, is because I had so many orders in. So can you can you imagine that uh, if this moved up 46 pips, what that would what profit I'd be looking at? It would be pretty ridiculous. It'd be something like um, probably a thousand or two thousand uh, dollars. But I have no idea that this is going to extend further from here. All I know is that I'm set at two hundred dollars, and I should be happy with that. And I am. I'm actually very happy with that. Yeah, because I it could have easily reversed at that point and went went back down. It didn't, but it could have easily done that. Okay, so uh, no trades on the pound on the euro pound. Uh, it hasn't this entire week. It's been pretty uh, pretty quiet. And um, the reason for this uh, this move now I don't know the uh, fundamental reasons, but I do know, know the technical reasons of what what's going on. Um, this move down on the pound CAD has been hurting me uh, uh, quite a bit on the, um, sorry, not the pound CAD, but the, the US dollar uh, CAD, Canadian dollar, has been hurting my pound CAD a lot because the CAD is, is strength has been um, pushing against pretty much all, all, all the other pairs. And when I saw this break, this level here, um, I was like, oh great, it's going to extend further and it's going to take us a lot longer to get out of this uh, this position. Sorry, I got cat hair in my nose again, guys. <laughs> Freaking cat. One of these days, I'll have to show them in my stream. Um, so, <clears throat> back to the charts. Yeah, uh, this area breaking here wasn't a good sign for me. I knew this would, would extend a bit further. Uh, but when I saw this candle, so this bullish uh, engulfing candle, and this uh, also bullish engulfing here, uh, that was a really good sign that we're going to get a push up here um, or some kind of extended push, a pullback uh, on the pound, on the U.S. dollar uh, Canadian. Um, 
so I think that this will extend further, how much I don't know. Uh, but this was enough really to get us out of our position, uh, at least with the, the, uh, the Canadian dollar losing some in value. Um, so what that looked like on, for example, some of the other crosses, like the, the pound US dollar, it's the ones I usually look at the most to see what's going on with them. Uh, so I know the relationship that's happening with the pound CAD. Um, the, uh, the pound CAD was obviously shot up, but the pound USD uh, did very similar. You can see this candle just right here, what this looks like. So this was shooting up at the same time that this was pulling up as well. So what that gave me was extreme volatility on the pound, on the pound CAD. In this area. So that was a total of, from the bottom to the top, 160 pips. So we did have a pretty good uh, move up on the pound US dollar, but it was only 86 pips in comparison. Okay, in the last few hours or so. So guys, that's what uh, I'm looking at. Um, I understand the reasoning for the bounce on the pound CAD and why it extended. Uh, during this course of the of the time that it was moving up, I was watching it pretty closely to see how, how much strength this actually had. And uh, I could tell that the strength was pretty good by watching this, like I, I pointed out here, and then seeing uh, that the pound strength was also increasing as well. And so that would give me a lot of, uh, a lot of push and volatility up on the upside on the pound CAD. Um, and so that's why I didn't close my trades out short. I left them in for the intended amount of $200, but I did only get 181 with slippage. All right, um, so not a lot of a uh, lot going on. All trades are closed out. What that looks like in profit, there's my email. <laughs> uh, let's refresh the page. Uh, that looks like 9.93% uh, uh, um, and we've had some nice uh, close profit, 0.64% uh, today. And uh, so far this month we're at 2.48%, um, which is $687 uh, for this month, which is great. Um, I'm wanting to pull about uh, $2,000 uh, per uh, a month, um, so that's about 10% um, of my account. That's what I'm pushing for. If I don't make it, that's okay. Um, but uh, so far I'm on my way to uh, to getting that reaching that goal. Um, even if I get 5%, I'm still going to be pretty happy this month. Um, and all the trades are closed out, um, and I plan on uh, taking it easy the rest of the day. But uh, my EAs are still active, looking for looking for trade opportunities, and uh, we'll go from there. Guys, I'm going to keep continue giving you updates on my account. Um, I may continue to do some streams here and there, maybe at the end of the week. Um, but I am taking the next step, and um, I will... Um, I have uh, made contact uh, with um, some big investors <clears throat> and uh, they're interested in my technology um, and I'm starting that process fairly soon. Uh, so I will be managing um, potentially large amounts of money um, and it may even uh, be enough to do institutional trading. Um, and uh, so it's going to be an interesting, interesting process. You'll probably see less of me once that starts to, um, uh, I guess, form. And um, but I hope to still give you some updates. Um, depending on how th fast things move, with uh, I guess that side of trading for me, uh, where I'm going to be uh, in the more managing department. Um, uh, I'm also looking to get certified uh, by the NFA as well um, as a certified trader. And um, but uh, you'll probably uh, once that whole thing takes place, you probably won't see me doing streams or videos anymore. Um, and the reason for that is because it's uh, important to keep things very um, organized and personal. Um, and my track record um, only viewable, view, viewable to, uh, to those that um, are investing with me uh, once, I am, uh, once I am certified. All right, uh, thanks you guys for watching and I hope to continue giving you updates for as long as I can and I appreciate the support. Give me a thumbs up if you like the, like the videos and I hope that you have a great rest of the day.